Alright, so my little hi-fi home theater little walkthrough system. What? That did not make any sense, but I'm recording it off the the uh, S5 instead of the Nexus because I have really good lighting today and the Nexus is just lagging up a storm. As much as the screen's much smaller and the focus is really bad on this phone, uh, the Nexus just, it's unbearable to watch in my opinion. So, look at this, I've jumped over to the S5, so tell me what your thoughts are on the actual video quality. Uh, also, the Nexus was really struggling with how bright it was out there. It seems to be pulling focus reasonably good. Um, but basically, ignore all that wires there because I still need to get another amp and some XLRs and my front of house in here just still aren't in here yet and they're going to be massive. I think they're going to be just as tall as these roughly. Oh god, I've got no room in this room and it's tiny. It's a n oh, what would this be in feet? It'd be a nine by nine room, so one meter by uh, sorry three meter by three meter room. So basically, let's start here with the rack. Uh, let's start with DVD. Uh, the Blu-ray player is the what is it? Panasonic DMP BD83. Uh, for a PC, it's a uh, Acer. I don't actually know what the the model on this one is. Uh, it's got specs on top. There you go. Acer Aspire AX1800. Windows 10 is actually running. Intel Core 2 Duo Pro processor. 4 gigs of DDR2. 640 gig hard drive. And a uh, there's your graphics and stuff like that. So if you want to have a look at that. There you go. I just have the Blu-ray player sitting right on top of it. Still need to get another one new shelf to put the Blu-ray player on, maybe just here. And uh, also need to get some fans for the Sony amp, because the Sony amp gets really hot when in home theater use. Yeah, it gets really hot. Like, you can feel the heat up here. That's how ridiculous it gets. But um, anyway, 7-channel amp, 5.1 sound system in here. So I bi-wired the front speakers just because I could. I was never a fan of it, but it gives more power and... No, you know, you can't go wrong with more power, so... Uh, inputs, uh, I've got media PC, so that. Uh, Chromecast. I don't actually know if the Chromecast works. Yes, it does. Cool. And Blu-ray player, so... I might actually reset that Chromecast back up. Obviously, I'm playing through that at the moment. Uh, speakers. Rears. Dellies and so ones. For some reason, I'm using the Dellies as rears. They're good, good speakers, and I highly don't recommend you use them as rears, but you can see the Deli logo there. I recommend you don't use them as rears. The only reason I do is because uh, I wasn't going to use... I, I prefer the sound of them for fronts, but obviously don't have room for them as fronts, so I have EQ Sound 8.6 XD, well-built speakers as the fronts. These have... I'm not going to take the grill off, actually. There's a 4 inch mid there, you can see uh, a 1 inch silk dome tweeter, 2 8 inch woofers and the port down there. As you can see, they're a Q sound and uh, they're not bad, they're kind of mid range focused but I seem to find that with the whole a Q sound line. Uh, I've got the rears that actually match them just there, stands for the dallies and uh, as I said these are bi-wired. I really need to clean these off as you can see but they're very very reflective and it's quite cool actually you can see me holding my sketchy rig here with the ah, you're not going to be able to see it the yeah the S5 with the zoom blue tack to it as always just because uh, better mic quality and hopefully it actually does sound decent anyway also the same on that side by wired again the center channel here is again the 8.6 XD Dual 6.5. I could probably do with some acoustic treatment here, but the the finish on these speakers actually, if it wants to pull focus, actually doesn't reflect sound too bad, and I haven't actually noticed any real bad reflections off that, surprisingly enough. Maybe because the tweeters here instead of like in the middle or down the bottom, I don't know. Maybe because it's slightly angled up, I don't know if you can see that. This, blue tack there as well as some nice anti-vibration feet and uh, you may have noticed these speakers back here these I'd never use because they're for hiring and they just don't make a difference with the 18s on those I use for stereo SBL use except uh, not with the hi-fi system so those are just for jamming out during the day 
Uh, forgot I could only record in 4K for a certain period of time, which is five minutes. But anyway, I use those for stereo use and I use these usually for uh, daytime use. And uh, both systems share the subs just there. I imagine once I've got the front of house built, I'll be back to probably using the stereo SPL more often. Uh, it's more fun in my opinion, but if we have a look here back behind the amp, you can see uh, the PC, no, that's the DVD player, the PC, the Chromecast, the old Chromecast. Wow, that is hot. Holy shit, that is really hot. And then the HDMI back there. It's a cheap HDMI, but any HDMI does the trick. Hopefully that didn't pick up the vibrations then when I hit the mic on the thing. Then uh, the seven channels there outputting off the receiver. And you notice these RCAs here are actually for the sub out. That plugs into this 3.5 mil, which is uh, the 3.5 mil that plugs into this mixer here, which is those two there, which I have set all the way up. So when I'm in home theater, I just turn them all the way up and they power. Well, that's the volume control for the subs. So all the way up is actually a really nice sound because I've set it up on the amp to do so. Or I could plug it into the PC and then that's my main volume there instead of the receiver. And then it uses all this stuff here. But um, basically that's that. Still got a fair bit to go as far as SBL, uh, the SBL system in this room. I gotta obviously get that one new shelf for the DVD player. I'm gonna get some cooling, uh, one new cooling fans coming up to keep that Sony amp cold because believe me, when it's doing a lot of signal processing and outputting at higher volumes, it gets really, really out of focus. No, it gets really, really hot. Uh, I don't know what I was putting here. Oh, the EQ, I was getting another Behringer EQ, but the bigger one, and it's 3U, so I need to get rid of this DBX because I'm borrowing this, and I'd much rather the Behringer anyway than the DBX. Uh, down here, I'm deciding whether I do a 2U amp. I haven't decided on the amp for the horns, whether it's going to be 2U and then a power conditioner or a 3U amp, which I kind of like the idea of, and having the power conditioner up the top somewhere. I don't know yet. But, uh... Yeah, that's, I don't know how long I've been recording for or how long it's going to take before I run out of storage. It doesn't tell me because I can't see behind the microphone. But uh, anyway, Delis is rears, Ku sounds is front by wired, center channel. TV is a very small 42 inch LG TV. I tried to swap it out for a 42 inch Philips TV yesterday, except my bracket. Uh, it was all the way on the end and all the mounting is right in the middle because this TV's brackets are like right there Whereas the other ones are like right out there and it just bent like it just full-on Bent it so I I decided that wasn't a great idea and didn't end up doing that. But anyway That's this system. I would turn it up just quickly, but I know this song copyright So I make that a second part. I'll do with and without the subs uh, but yeah, that's, that's the hi-fi system, and I'm getting really, really hungry, actually. I don't even think I've eaten today. I think I, I had, like, a little bowl of Milo cereal, hit the gym, had a protein shake, and that's it. And it's, like, 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, that's that for you. And, uh, yeah. I will see you... No, what? I just got something on my phone. It said flash turned off yes because the phone needed to cool down or something I don't even know should probably read those but anyway I'll do a quick demo of some sound from some songs actually instead of movies so I don't get copyright and uh, yeah I'll call it that so hope you enjoy those videos on the end now and so here's the main front speakers this is just these two which is what I'll use for stereo listening without subs but uh, yeah these have really really good low end actually for four eights Hopefully the camera does a good job picking that up, or the microphone at least, and it's not distorting, I don't know. But I'll go with the subs. <laughs> Alright, so now we're going to throw in the subs and see how we go. So here we go again with the same song with the subs on this time. Nowhere near full potential, I don't want any noise complaints, so here we go.
that there is to do with the gains of the subs. But uh, anyway, that's a little walkthrough of my home theatre system and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>